So this is part two on a quick tour of my 1965 RCA Round D. It does have a little bit of PVA separation on the tube. It actually adds to the character. I kind of like it. it. Reminds me of how they used it used to do that on the appliances. The Harvest Gold and the green appliances would have kind of a halo around the edges of them. The chrome on the control panel is kind of a gold tone chrome. The numbers light up inside the knobs. The TV after all these years worked fine as you can see in the other video. It has one minor scratch in the cabinet there and one minor mark on it right there. Other than that it's in perfect condition. This TV originally I was told was bought for like a guest bedroom and had only been used for a total of about 12 hours. I bought it for a hundred bucks around 1990 and I used it for a total of about three hours. I watched the Super Bowl in 1991 on this TV. This was back before the Buffalo Bills. It sucked. This is a model 6082N3. And then there's another number that says GG579W. Serial number 52TR4782. Even the back looks nice. I love the triangular shaped covers. Reminds me of the old Admiral of my grandmother's. This used to be quite clean inside. It doesn't smell like it's clean anymore after 17 years. Okay, there's our serial number again, 52TR4782, which means the chassis is original to the back cover. And this is actually a CTC20A chassis, which I do have the book for. Man, look at the size of this pitcher tube neck. It's like two and a quarter inches in diameter. And it's mounted in there with a steel ring going all the way around it. They're all matching original RCA tubes, identical lettering. Surprisingly, on printed circuit boards. The bottom of the cabinet is three quarter inch plywood, it's not particle board. The sides and the top are framed in one by material with quarter inch masonite with a photographed wood grain finish. <coughs> and 
This TV's in great shape for being over 40 years old. Although I can't find a date code. We know that 1965 was the last year for the round picture tubes. There isn't a number on the tube, too. It's an RCA highlight, 21F JP22A. Degaussing coils built in to the frame, so you don't have to degauss this. It's automatic. But I know looking at the front, the two knobs at the bottom instead of three is dating this as a 65. And the 66 has the square screen instead of round. This is a great TV. This one as well is going to be saved because of its historical significance being the last year of the round face TVs and it still gets a great picture I'm going to do one more video of this I'm going to hook this TV up to cable to get a really good picture and do one more video and then this television is going to go back in storage for the time being as I have no place to actually put it <laughs>